it's Alaska Granny. Today I wanted to share with you the book called Mastery by Robert Greene. It's informative and influential and he te teaches you the concepts of how to achieve ultimate power in your life. And he has several different themes that ex teach you that your experience and your hard work can lead you to have the life that you want. And it's all through your own decisions. It doesn't matter if you think, oh, I wasn't born a genius or I didn't have the right education. You can follow through this book and he gives you uh, biographies and uh, stories about the lives of people that you may or may not have heard of and the hardships and studies and life experiences that led them to achieve the mastery in their life to show you that yes you can do it for yourself. So there are five different themes in the book and the first one is the discover your calling and figure out your life's task. So there's something within you that's special and that's what you want to discover and that's what you want to work towards to becoming the best person that you are. Then you want to submit to reality and you want to find an ideal apprenticeship. So you need to find out uh, what it is you want to do and figure out how to do the hard work that it requires to reach that uh, goal and to learn that skill. Then the next theme is to absorb the master's power where you want to find a mentor who uh, is involved in the skill that you want to acquire and you can learn from the very best. Then you want to see people as they are, and there's a whole chapter section about social intelligence, which is very fascinating and very, um, it's very inspiring to read these kind of things. Then you want to awaken the dimensional mind, and you want to find the creative and the active parts of your mind, and learn how to awaken those, and, um, make the best out of yourself and what you can be. And the last uh, theme would be to fuse the intuitive with the rational and that's when you achieve mastery. Green teaches you to have an inner force that guides you towards your life's task. So you need to become in tuned, listen to the voices inside of your heart and your head that tell you who am I really uh, what am I really about? Who really am I? And what are my interests? Then you want to uh, read the different stories about the different biographies where they tell you about the joys, the hurts, the struggles, and the learning and the lives that have changed and been rearranged. And know that if these people can do it, you have that within you if that's what you really want. If you're willing to do the hard work and figure out what it is you want, he gives you the step-by-step -step guide to how to achieve mastery and become the very greatest person that you want to be. And so examine your past, discover what you're really meant to do, and then use that to steer your path for the rest of your life. It isn't defined by who you have been or what you have done. It's all about figuring out what you, who you really are, what you're really meant to do. And in your heart of hearts, what is your passion? How do you bring that to fruition? And you can achieve that by finding your chosen destiny if you follow the steps in the book. It's like a road map to success. He lines it all out for you. Lots of people can tell you, oh, this person was successful at this and that person was successful at that. And Robert Greene tells you that can be for you as well if you follow the simple steps. Find the genius that lies within you and the purpose and the mastery of whatever it is that you choose to do. So I hope you'll read Mastery by Robert Greene. I found it to be very thought-provoking, very influential, and very informative. And uh, it wasn't easy to read, but it was extremely worthwhile. So try reading it for yourself. See if it doesn't help you to be the person that you want to be. And please subscribe to Alaska Granny and have a wonderful day.